Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you two different ways to make your very own leggings. Any style, any size. Stay tuned! For the first method, you're going to need some stretchy fabric. And I found this in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. It stretches in two ways. And I just stumbled upon it while I was going through and trying to find stretchy fabric and feeling and stretching everything in the store. While I was in there, I picked up this really cute matching trim. And you're also going to need an old pair of well-fitting leggings. So you're going to take your old leggings and fold them in half just like this. And this is going to be our pattern. Now we're, I'm taking the new fabric and folding it in half. I have two pieces folded in half. And here is the fold here. I'm just going in and smoothing it all out so that my pattern will be even. And I'm laying those legs, the folded side, against the folded edge of my fabric. When laying down your pattern, you want to make sure that the stretchiest part is the part that's going to wrap around your thigh. So you want the stretchiest part to be along the width of the leggings and not the length. Once you've got it set up, you're just going to trace around your pattern, leaving just a teeny bit for a seam allowance. And I wanted these to be a little bit longer than my old, sh my old leggings, so I, I just drew them out a little bit longer. And you want to leave about an inch at the top for your elastic band. Then you're going to cut out the leggings. So this is what you should have now. You should have two pieces. When you open it up, it should look just like this. Now you want to make sure you put the right sides of the fabric together. And we're just going to sew along the crotch. So I'm pinning it off right here. And I used a serger, but you don't have to use a serger. You can just use a regular sewing machine. This fabric doesn't fray. I will leave the exact type of fabric this is in the description box below. So now that we have the two seams sewn in the crotch area, we're going to flip it open. And ta-da! We've got two legs. That part just seemed so tricky to me when I saw it in other tutorials, but when I did it, it was super easy. So now I'm going to add trim to the bottom of the legs. So now just putting those legs back together, I'm going to make sure to line up, line up that center seam in the crotch area and line up the legs and we're almost finished. We just need to add an elastic band. Now you can sew, fold it down and sew it so that you can slide the elastic in making a casing, but I chose to do mine this way. So I stitched the elastic around the band, tugging the elastic and the fabric, and then now I'm going to fold it down and stretch the elastic and the fabric again and add another stitch down there. And here's how it turned out. Let me know if you'd like to see a detailed tutorial on how I did the waistband. Those are so cute. So here's the second method. It's actually exactly like the first method, except for instead of using brand new fabric, we are recycling an old t-shirt. Who knew you could make leggings out of t-shirts? I think this idea is so cool. I'm going to be making tons of these so every time you see me in a pair of leggings that looks like it used to be a t-shirt it probably was a t-shirt so I'm just lining up these leggings on the fold and stitching out my hem allowance or seam allowance the reason why I said hem is because I'm thinking about hems because the cool thing about doing leggings like this on a t-shirt is that you don't have to put a hem at the knee right there or at the bottom of the legging because the t-shirt already has a hem in it. So now you're going to cut out your pattern and just begin constructing these leggings just like we did in the first method. So 
So I add an elastic band just like I did in the other pair of leggings. And I also cut up one of my husband's t-shirts while he was at work and I made a pair for myself too. So here's how our leggings came out. Let me know if you're going to try this in the comment section below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!